how did I get into the aquarium hobby? Well, I did try to keep fish at various points in my life growing up, but I would say 2019 was the year I really got into it as a hobby. And it's all my wife Jenna's fault. So she's a teacher and she wanted a class pet and she's allergic to all the rodents. And between that and all the school regulations on what you can and can't have in the classroom, an aquarium was pretty much the only viable option. And she liked her so much in the classroom, she tried to talk me into getting one for the house. And to be honest, I was uh, reluctant at first because I'm like, oh, I don't want to clean anything else. I don't want to carry buckets back and forth and spill water on the floor, lady, you're crazy. Uh, once I went down the research rabbit hole, though, I discovered all these awesome YouTube channels, all the learning resources they have out there now, the whole world of live plants and aquascaping and breeding. Um, I was I was in it. Definitely way more in it than my wife ever thought I'd be. What is my favorite fish so far? Um, always a tough question, and I think it might even change uh, day to day. That's how ADD I am. Right now, I'm really enjoying keeping rainbow fish. I currently have Pseudomagill and Melanotania species, but I am working on uh, getting Chilatharina soon. And I really like them because they have cool breeding behavior. You can get them in all the colors. They're very active. They make full use of the open areas of a tank. And they grow slow, they live a long time, and they change shape and color about every year, it seems. They're also a very good community fish. Um, they can go with just about anything that doesn't fit in their mouth and don't require any kind of wacky water parameters, you know. Just a really fun, good looking shoaling fish. How many tanks do I currently have? Well, I have 10 total. Uh, that includes a 10-gallon um, quarantine tank and a 20-gallon in my daughter's room that has like a whimsical theme and a 20-gallon in my son's room with like a prehistoric jungle theme going on there. And um, I don't have any outdoor ponds or tubs right now, but I'm sure that's coming soon because I'm basically out of room in the house. I don't really have a dedicated fish room. Everything is just sort of distributed in various bedrooms, dining room, living room. None in the bathroom yet, but you know, we'll see. Have I bred any type of fish before? Uh, you better believe it. It is a very rewarding part of this whole crazy fish keeping hobby in my opinion. Um, I've been breeding colonies of guppies and inlers and platies and a bunch of cherry shrimp But I mean really all of that breeds on its own um, The best thing I've ever done for those tanks is to stuff them full of live plants and leave them alone as much as I can um, I've also bred a bunch of bristlenose plecos which I'm currently growing out in a 29 gallon and I do plan to do a longer video on that one soon um, other than that I will find occasionally like a Corydora egg and I'll hatch it out and grow it out and sometimes I'll have like Pseudomagill fry will wander into a breeder box and I'll grow them out as well but none of that is intentional just for fun. I definitely plan to do some more advanced breeding projects soon. I just got to sell some fish you know and make some room. I don't really have any room for more tanks at the moment but uh, you know there's always getting rid of furniture and appliances. What do I like most about the aquarium hobby? Oh, that's another tough question. A year ago, I would have said it's the hands-on stuff like aquascaping, uh, trimming plants, cleaning the glass, even water changes, and then just sitting back and admiring the results of your hard work. It's all very therapeutic to me. Nowadays, I'd almost say it ties with the community here on YouTube, uh, what we call the fish fam. Probably the least toxic hobbyist community you'll find anywhere, like ever online or in person. We learn a lot from each other, or at the very least, we give each other some inspiration, moral support, if and when things go wrong. And um, honestly, I'm proud to be able to call a lot of them my friends. Thank you so much for being in this collab, Stefan. Everyone, make sure to subscribe to his YouTube channel. Link in the description. 
I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys in the next video.